All right, dad, you guys come with the blues. We got the, we got the paella in the works. And uh, so we're gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little French national dish, coco vin, coco vin. And uh, so just a little bit of olive oil, water. Nice uh, skin-on chicken breast, and uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a wing with it. Okay, I use the thigh in another dish. Both sides. Why, like, why every dish was starting chicken with flour and, you know, hey, I don't know, we gotta figure that out, but easy to make. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna brown this up real good, we'll wash my hands real quick. Concentrate the flavor. We're gonna simmer that down. I love chicken breast just like that with a skin on. So delicious. Mushroomies. Now what I'm doing is onion. Sometimes it calls for the pearl onions, but I don't have any pearl onions right now. So I'm going to leave this end on to hold it together. that in with it. I love onion. I love onion and cooking. I love onion and I have some leeks. Enjoy your cooking, you know what, you see it, you're smelling it, you know, you know you're going to be chowing down on it later, that's the joy of it, people, bring people around the stove, you know, around the kitchen, smell when you're cooking, it's definitely like uh, something satisfying about it. of onion and garlic and chicken cooking, huh? 
Yeah, it's great. It smells great. And of course, a little bit of garlic. That draws them in. They're like when people walk by that vet hood outside, they're like, geez. It pulls them in. It's like McDonald's used to do with their french fries, the burgers. Okay, uh, we're well, Cop Copleroso, so this is where it's got its name from. Definitely a lot of red wine. I'm just going to cover this a little bit, Glenn. So we got this reduced down where we want it. I'll be back in about two minutes. All right, let's check it out. That's simmering down to three, you know, it's probably three quarter cooked right now. Add a little bit of leek. And oh man. Put that chicken stock over the top now. And then in the oven. We're going to go right in the oven with it for about 15, 20 minutes. 15 minutes or so. You know what we're going to do afterwards? I mean, there's a lot of stock, but we're not going to use any roux. And later on, when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to reduce the juice. I'm going to add a little bit more chicken stock. When that comes out, mix the juice in with it, reduce it down, finish it with a little butter. All the front saves, baby. All right, let's check it out, Paul. Let's see what we got here. The Coco Vin. Oh, baby. Oh, yum. Oh, baby, that's what I like. <laughs> Woo! Chantilly lace. Pretty face. You better get it, get yourself a. Why don't you get yourself a, a couple? We'll get a couple of knives and forks. Okay, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this warm right here. And reduce that sauce down where we want it. Probably reduce it by half. We'll taste it for uh Don't forget, that's all natural reduction. The only flour was when we floured the chicken. one thing though. 
Green onion. Bingo. <laughs> He's learning. Oh, you got it. Thank you. Oh, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit Ken Rollins, he's a truck wagon cook. And he was making, uh, he got a big deal going. He won some kind of competition, cooking competition. I love watching him. Fantastic cook. Cooking uh, you know, out of like a campfire. And he was making Scott, Scottish eggs. You know, wrapped in sausage, boiled eggs. Then his stuff, and he said, main thing, put some green onions in there. <laughs> My kind of guy. Okay, there we go. Well, I kind of probably should have put the sauce over the top, but you know where she is, right there. Oh yeah, I do this with a little bit of butter noodles, I think it'd be my favorite. Oh yum. So, wanna try it, Paula? Sure. Dig it in? Yeah, chicken breast or side. Go ahead. Right at the right time. You sure did. <laughs> Timing's impeccable. Timing's good. Timing's good. Rich. Oh wow, that's really good. It's nice and rich. Tender. I love mushrooms. That skin on chicken keeps yeah. it nice and tender. I love skin on chicken breast. Yep. Is that those onions? That's excellent. The butter, the It had been a real high-end French restaurant. They ran an 80% food cost. Back in Dallas, they brought me in. All the rest of the owners backed out, but one, so you want to turn it into a real cheap, you know, affordable bistro. So he gave me $300 a day in a, in a cigar box. And I go to Kroger's grocery store, I buy whole chickens, I can buy a little bit of beef, you know, tenderloin, a little bit of, you know, some purveyors. Pretty much everything out of the grocery store. That's what I did with the chicken. Four really orders good. of Coco Van. I did the wings, sold the wings at the bar. Sold, uh, you know, the legs for jambalaya. Made the stock for onion soup. That's how we made money. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing. Chicken livers, I was down Glen earlier. Chicken livers, chicken liver pate. Two orders out of one chicken paid to pay for that chicken twice over. So I love chicken. Thank Jack's Code with the Blues. Paula Orsini Peltier and Glenn Pel Pelletier. <laughs> I'm probably trying to figure out. Yeah, but, but I say Peltier. He doesn't mind. It's all right. It sounds right? much That's better. French. French. All right. Thank Jack's Code with the Blues here. Beautiful downtown in London. Deep water port. Oh, we got a beautiful day. Top 10 of the year right now, 70, mid 70s, sun shining, peace. <laughs>